welcome dear student today we shall study a lesson uh, of the flower and this is part one video of this lesson for class 9 biology and student this uh, lesson is for icc curriculum okay let's start lesson all right a very beautiful flower so the flower is usually the most beautiful and conspicuous part of a plant and student flower is a specialized shoot in which the leaves are modified into floral structure you know that uh, in plants we have root system that is below the ground and shoot system above the ground okay so the flower is a part of a shoot shoot system in which the leaves are modified into floral structure a very beautiful floral a structure all right and in flowering plants reproduction is performed by the flower so student um, we have uh, seen that uh, reproduction in many different different species and uh, today we shall study a lesson the flower in which we will study that how the reproduction takes place in a flower all right or how the reproduction performed by the in a plant by the flower so let's start okay so first topic is structure of a bisexual flower so first we will study about structure of a bisexual flower so student first of all what is a bisexual flower so a flower that contains both male and female reproductive organs in in one flower it is called as a bisexual flower okay so alongside you can observe a picture in uh, in which it is shown that arrangement of a parts of a bisexual flower as it contains two organs that is male and female reproductive organs in one flower flowering part so this is a bisexual flower all right and uh, here the stalk or pedicle which supports a flower all right so this is a straw a stalk or elongated uh, part of a flower which is called as a uh, stalk or pedicle it is supporting part of the flower okay and some flowers may be without a stalk and the tip of the stalk may also be enlarged to form a cup shape uh, receptacle or thalamus okay so this is a cup shape receptacle or thalamus which is present above the stalk all right okay now here the uh, floral parts are born on the thalamus in four walls okay so stalk after stalk we have receptacle or thalamus and the floral parts main floral parts which will be uh, born above the thalamus in four walls okay so let's uh, see the four walls one by one so first wall it is a green sepals or it is also known as a calyx okay collectively it is called as a calyx and it is uh, uh, known as a sepal which is present above the uh, cup shaped receptacle or thalamus so this is the first whorl of a flower that is a green sepal and collectively known as a calyx and the second whorl of a flower this is a large brightly colored petal and collectively called as a corolla okay so these are the brightly or different different uh, in different flower different colored of petals are present so this is a brightly colored petals and collectively it is known as a corolla so this is a second whorl all right now the again this is the same picture now what is the third whorl so alongside you can also you can observe the symbol of a third whorl that means this is third whorl is related to the male reproductive organ okay so student this is a long thread like a structure somewhat um, somewhat projecting out and each usually ending in bilobe tip okay so this is a bilobe tip and these are the stamens collectively called as a androsium so this is a male reproductive part stamen and collectively it is known as a androsium and each stamen consists of a thread like filament and a bilobed uh, anther okay so this is a specified picture of a stamen which i have shown in right side uh, top of the right side so this is the bilobed anther okay and inside the anther pollen grains are present which are helping in the pollination of a plant okay so this is a structure of an stamen or androsium this is a male reproductive part and next uh, is it is a stamen androsium and fourth whorl of a uh, flower it is relating to the female reproductive organ you can observe the fourth whorl symbol female reproductive organ okay i have mentioned symbol also okay so student centrally located pistil that may be formed of a single female unit called as a carpel so uh, pistil it is known as a uh, sorry carpel also or of the several fused carpel it is collectively known as a gynosium and so a student what is gynosium this is related to the female reproductive part and each carpel consists of a basal ovary and a middle style and a uppermost 
stigma so here you can observe the structure of a carpal or pistil okay you can observe the elongated shape style and above the style stigma are present um, okay and the lower part it is bulging a bulb like structure is there which is called as a ovary and inside the ovary ovules are there okay ovules are there inside the ovary so this is a female reproductive part it is also called as a gynoecium and male reproductive part it is known as a androecium so student these are the four whorls of a flower okay now next is a complete and incomplete types of a flower so student uh, complete or a perfect flower is one which contains all the four floral floral walls now all the four floral walls means they contain uh, calyx also they contain corolla also androecium and gynoecium so this is a complete flower with all the four walls are present okay so here are the uh, examples of uh, complete flower first example is gulmoha and second is a rose so these are the flower which containing all the floral parts floral walls okay now next is the incomplete flower so a student if a uh, if one or more sets of a floral walls are missing the flora of the flower is called as incomplete or imperfect that means out of four uh, walls okay if one or more if one or two or three walls are absent then this is called as a in, incomplete or imperfect flower now example i have mentioned here it is a flower of a powder puff in which the petals are missing so one walls floral walls is missing so this is called as a imperfect or incomplete flower okay now next is the essential parts of a flower so first um, essential means so student the essential parts of a flower are those that are directly concerned with reproduction okay and these part consist of the stamens and carpels that is female part it contains uh, sorry it contains and uh, male parts as well as female parts so this uh, these are the essential parts of a flower and stamen main part and uh, carpel is female part right so these are the essential parts of a flower male and female parts now next we have is non essential parts of a flower so student the non essential part or accessory accessory parts so are simply the helping parts which either protect the reproductive parts or make the flower attractive for pollination so in previous slide we have seen essential parts of a flower that is androecium and gynoecium and second is non essential which which non essential parts what they will do either they will help the or help which either protect the reproductive parts or they will make flower attractive just for the pollination now what is pollination so student pollination is a act of transferring pollen grains from the male anther to the uh, male anther of a flower to the female uh, stigma okay now anther uh, sorry pollen grains are present inside the in the anthers okay so in these will be either petals sepals and in some cases the sepals and petals look very similar and cannot be differentiated from one another all right and uh, they are then called as a tepals or collectively they are known as a perian that means uh, we will not differentiate it uh, in between sepals and petals and uh, they will look alike or similar so these are called as a tepals or perian and student here is the example of the perian when the perian is green like the sepal is it, it is described as a sepaloid uh, perian and when the perian is non green color it is described as a petaloid perian variant okay so these are the non essential parts of a flower now next non essential parts of a flower are the bracts so student when a flower arises in the axil of the leaf like a structure this structure is known as a bracts and uh, bracts may be green like ordinary leaves or at times are colored they are colored and examples are, i have shown here the bougainvillea and the large and colored bract of a bougainvillea this is a example of a bract okay uh, so in bougainvillea the flower arises in the axil of a leaf like structure and uh, it is easily mistaken for the petal in the bougainvillea and the actual flower in this case is a small somewhat cylindrical and attached on the inner side of the bracts so here you can observe how the flower is present in the inner side of the bracts okay all right now next the uh, non essential parts of uh, next part is nectaries so student what are this yes this is the most beautiful flower so most flower produces a sweet fragrant liquid called as a nectar okay and uh, the, the picture of a flower this is an example of a nasturtium 
and nectaries most flower produces a sweet fragrant liquid called as a nectar and groups of nectar secreting cells called as a nectaries and these nectaries are situated usually at the base of the pistil or on the basis of the petals and the nectar attracts insect like honey bees for cross pollination in some cases nectaries are very prominent as in nestorium now here the cross pollination which stay which happened in two different flower okay so in the pollination are also uh, are of two types self pollination and cross pollination self pollination in which the, the, the transfer of anther to the stigma takes place in the similar flower but in cross pollination transferring of pollen grains to the stigma you know, takes place into different uh, flowers or different uh, different flowers or uh, different plants of a different flowers okay so student i hope you all have understood this part and next part we will continue in our next session that's it for today's video thank you mm -hmm.